Hello guys, welcome back to part 2 of our tutorial on KSP 0.90 where we start, uh, we try and make a all stock space shuttle like spacecraft okay and as you can see this is what we got for now I just noticed an all that I forgot about some stairs here okay let's go do that we need like at least one ladder on the side gonna be more than enough hopefully that is I'll bring it down some more perhaps and probably action group something like five you know what, well, let's try it before we go any further. I know the cables are shorties, but this should be able to reach that. Cartoon group was five. Uh, let's bring Jebediah. Yeah. Uh, we'll be all fine. Don't even worry. Okay, why don't we take this opportunity to do another test flight just for the fun of it? Okay, I got the engines and I'm not touching anything. Not touching anything is keeping its nose up. Nice. Probably the stall speed about should be about forty or so, it seems. Anything under fifty is good for me. Fifty meters per second. Cool, let's go back. Now we need to add the uh, orange tank like thing that's on the real shuttle. Before we do that, though, let's see. Now, first, let's add the orange tank as our payload. Let's put back some fuel on all of these guys. Okay, get one orange tank. Probably not. We'll see if we need it later. Just try to keep the power counts down. But it's, it's probably gonna reach 250 or so. If I remember from my last build. Alright, anyway. Rotate this guy around. Retract these gears. Okay, go down like that. Now, let's see. Okay, angle snap to 90. Okay, try and put it there. Oh, that's not what I want. Cancel. This is why I have to use 
uh, turn off the angles now before I move that guy. Oh, even without the angles now, it still goes down there. That's not good. But it's not bad. Though. I just don't want it to. Don't want these guys to st stick more out. Alright, it's not a big deal. What we can do is move these guys down some more. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, now let's add the main fuel tank. I'm gonna use this Carbodyne S3 14400. Put one in there. And if, as I remember from my last shuttle, I had to move fuel from the other tanks on either side to this one on the center. So we're gonna do that right away. First, well, we need some. Where are they? This decoupler. Put it here and not enable it. Do the same here. Now it's gonna touch a little bit these guys. Uh, this normally is not a big deal, but I would rather not have that. Okay, so now we can put the other ones. One here, another one there. Okay, I'm gonna call this guy A2, just in case. Okay, I get this adapter, rotate it around, get this one. Now we need that adapter again. And I think then I added some RCS. Oh, what am I talking about? Reaction control wheels, the advanced one. And we're gonna use all its power. So after we have done that, it means we need to add something to generate to generate electricity. So we're gonna add a few generators here. Uh, what is electric? Yeah, we need to add maybe two will be enough just to for now. Remember for the power count. Okay, after we done that, we need also to add these Werner engines for more stability. I don't even know if it's needed because my last shuttle was so so stable. It looks like it was flying itself, but we just add these. three of these go to aerodynamics at this nose cone and now I'll take this guy and move it in yep something like that okay now we need a way to transfer the fuel from this tank to those engines to do that, it should be easy. We use two of these. And I'll go back to the space plane mode. Do a 
these and add them here. And then come down here, take these two, add them in there. So let's check our delta V anyway. Can be seen underneath here as well. 2,995. That's not bad yet. Okay, so now let's do the transfer, fuel transfer. That's, that's what I've been missing a lot of times. Because what I used to do is try to put different levels of fuel on each of these tanks. Try and keep it balanced, but it never worked. But today I tried moving fuel from this guy to here, a friend from this to that one. Every fuel uh, move those tanks to the one on the middle, on the center. So that way the center of gravity or center of mass is relatively gonna stay around this area. And I think that makes sense. As you can see, that's where the engine is gonna thrust towards. And when I did that, it was so amazing. Amazingly more stable. Okay, I'm gonna use these small things, put them on the side. There is definitely an easier way to do this, but this is how I did it and it worked. So I'm just gonna do it again. I'm gonna move fuel from that to this tank. And from that tank to the center. I'm doing it on both sides, but it just to keep it balanced, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same here. But it's gonna be the opposite. I'm gonna take fuel from that, move it here. And then take fuel from this guy, move it to the center. Okay, now let's try and make it a little bit uh, more aesthetic. So let's put this guy in. Something like that. And put this guy in. Something like that as well. That's all we need. So how do we check about our if we have everything going right? So we only gonna have this one engine on at some point. So let's bring our RCS build aid and put it into engines mode. And as you can see, right, we have a torque of 239 kilonewton meters. That's not so bad, but we can do better probably. If we move this guy down, it goes up. Yeah, just keep a look. Let me bring it somewhere you can see it better. So keep a look on the torque as I move this center. So by moving it down, it's going down, up, that's perfect, that's what we need. 0 0.779 kilonewton meters, yeah, that's nice. Okay, and just to give, to make our life a little easier again, let's go to radial attachment mode. Four times symmetry. Where is that Werner trust? No, oh, it's right there. And put three of them here as well. And it's gonna be hidden somewhat with that thing. So that's that's very good. So our trust weight ratio is going to be about. 0.73 now it's gonna even be 
more than that because we have these fuels that are gonna drain yeah so it's gonna be above one Keep these guys here so it's easier to see. Okay, so now, um, what am I missing again? Okay, let's let's add the radial liquid fuel boosters. So okay, we use this radial decoupler. Put it somewhere on that. Yeah, uh, let me see. I think I need five segments of these Rockamax X232. I think it's just like the real shuttle. They have like five segments, is it, for the solid solid rocket boosters? So we're gonna use, we're gonna do our own version. And we like that. That's good. Yeah, I know what I forgot. I forgot to add those. Yeah, I know what I forgot. I forgot to add. Let me do it right now before I forget. Uh, I forgot to add these Cybertrons for that big tank. Yeah. So I wonder. Another one around the center here. And another one on the bottom. Okay, so oh, I don't need this guy to be staging enabled. By the way, I, I'm not sure if the default KSP has that option because I'm using tweakable everything. So even if it doesn't have it, just put them above everything else. So you know what I mean. It's it's not a big deal. Just go. Don't go telling me like, hey, I don't see this <laughs> when it's only about a few mods that doesn't even add any parts, as you could see from the first first part. Anyway, let's move on. This guy is decoupled nicely. So let's add one, two, three, four, five segments. Okay, I'm gonna be using the same engine for these uh, liquid boosters, and I need adapter for that see this guy yeah probably this guy will do and it does add more fuel as well okay now let's put these two right about there okay go back to adapter use this guy here Then add the parachute. Uh, this one will do. Alright, starting to look like a shuttle. Okay, you move in there. <coughs> I was thinking that we could do the same thing that we did with these three tanks we could do the same thing with these five tanks try and transfer the fuel from either side to the one in the center but when I build my one uh, my other shuttles earlier I didn't need to do that and it worked perfectly so I'm not gonna do it so what I need is Sepatrons for this Let's put 
one in there. By the way, you need to go there. I think to keep this simple, what I could do is... Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. I wanted to just work on this one, then do symmetry for the other one, but... Doesn't matter. So actually, I'm stupid. It's supposed to go this way. Okay. This one supposed to go that way. Put one on the center. Just put it here. All right, that's good. Very good. Okay, next thing we need to see, as you can see, our torque is not zero. We need to work on that one. It's actually one thousand. 124 so there's different ways we can do we can work on that okay something's not right with that uh, 2054 meters per second delta V Yeah, we'll check about that later. So for now, let's work on the torque. What we can do is try and work on this engine rotation a bit more. Okay, just take a look at the torque when I rotate this guy. Okay, it's going down, it's going down. Alright, 15 is enough for me. Good enough, good enough. Okay, I don't understand what is going on with those. So, fuel boosters, like... Well, it doesn't matter, it should be about 5,000 meters per second, if I'm correct. Okay, let's add the launch clamps. seeing something wrong here okay I only have one right there that doesn't look right okay let's go to the symmetry radial symmetry mode and on again Something like that. That's what I want to see. Do I really have only 2000 meters per second? Mm, that really doesn't make sense. I'm gonna go to the launch pad and see if it's still the same.
still 2000 meters per second probably the fuel is not getting transferred from here to there or from these guys to those let's go back Something I forgot is to turn these guys off so that we don't get mixed up. Anyway, well, let's see. I need fuel. Probably know why this is happening. Okay, oh, I'll see. So you guys move on here, and doesn't make any difference. But what about if I take you guys, put you in there? Oh yeah, now you can see. That's what I'm talking about. 6167. Nice. Okay. So this is basically the shuttle for now. I think this is almost the same as I had before. And this should be able to go into orbit easily. Hopefully. So I don't need these guys anymore. Let's just get rid of them. Okay, so this is the stock shuttle. Now I'm gonna add just one small thing that's not gonna make it stock anymore, but you don't even need. What I like to add anyway is these cameras. Oh yes. You, for example. Let me see. I need to see inside the. Let's open this guy, make it easy. Turn off this RCS build help. Okay, this is just a camera. You don't need it, but it's cool. Put it like this, angle it down. Now that it reminds me that I forgot something else as well is to add lights for the cargo bay so we can do that right now where are those lights can use this one or the other one yeah we can use this something like that try and rotate it a bit inward okay and I add a second camera so probably if I'm gonna make the download of this I'm gonna get rid of those cameras anyway so not a big deal so I'm gonna add one here And make sure it should be cam 2. Probably I should have gone and checked where the real space shuttle has cameras installed. But I'm gonna put some of mine here. I think there should be one looking down there. So I'm gonna use. What is the difference? I don't know, let's just use this one. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one, it's gonna be looking down there. I'm gonna use one for the solid boosters. Okay, for both of them. 
it should be three and I will make this one four. Oh, it's four already. Nice. Okay, where else do I need camera? I need to be able to see those the engine there. supposed to be let's just put it here okay it's the wrong way now I'm gonna rotate it yeah so we're gonna be able to see that all right that's about it probably can go and do our first test flight now fully loaded and ready to go all right I'm gonna call this one a tree as well yeah I know I forgot about if everything goes right we're gonna go all the way to landing uh, need to put this guy action group zero for deploy shot shoot okay let's go okay this is gonna be STS one some pictures of course nice all right make jab if you don't like make jab do it yourself that's all I have to say let me check the cameras as well I like it. So I'm missing one camera, but um, whatever. I'll probably do a, a all IVA launch as well. So Magjab is here. Let's see. Put it about 35, start to turn around 10 kilometers. Okay, turn off force roll, turn these two on or these three as well. Uh, it can be auto stage, it can be, it's not a big deal. All right, we're gonna be launching into 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Okay. All right. Still going. Oh damn. No good. <laughs> I forgot infinite fuel. So uh, it's, it's not a big deal. I'm not cheating. Uh, uh, let's do it again. Oh, oh well. That happened sometime. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> it didn't crash, really? Though it crashed. It's interesting. Okay, now we got rid of that infinite fuel. Let's do it again. That was just a mistake of my part, so. Okay, now we're gonna start our count from 3, 2, oh. Okay. I didn't need to stage those okay I'll start a roll roll program as they call it <laughs> interesting oh, that's too much now 
Calm down. Let me go check the IVA. Nice. Yeah, I will try and find some better spots for these cameras. This is gonna be interesting on IVA. Alright, everything is stable. I haven't even turned on the RCS. Let's do it in case we need help from those Werner engines. Uh, we're looking good so far. Take another screenshot. It's probably gonna be even easy to fly without Megjab as well. Nothing to worry about. Okay, our alpha apsis is about 7 kilometers. Thrust to weight ratio is about 2.08, 2.09, going up. Yes. Don't I have inclination? Looks like I don't. So let's put. that so we can see our inclination as well okay we started our gravity turn as you can see those Werner engines are helping a bit but they won't make much difference though they're helping because these guys are getting much more powerful they are not slowing down if we had like a way to slow them down we wouldn't even need them I don't know if the real shuttle has uh, those SRBs that slow down or not I'm not an expert but that would be probably a better choice okay this doesn't look good let's do that then damn oh well whatever looks like I missed it a little bit there should have kept it about 40 maybe uh, it's not a big deal, I think. Still managed to recover. These guys are almost empty. You know what, we're gonna go all the way to an orbit of 150 kilometer. Yeah, I will need to work on that one. I don't know if I need to slow down. No, I don't need to slow them down. Yeah, I just need to make the turn more gradual than what it was. Mm. Otherwise, everything is looking smooth. Very smooth for our first flight. Apoapsi is about 46 kilometers. Orbital speed about 800 meters per second. <laughs> Now we can start pitching down because I believe this guy is gonna be stable. I'm not gonna auto save at least uh, on this part because that would be like cheating. Okay, we don't have signal, signal there anymore. What is our delta V? Not very good. I think we have a little bit to spare as well. Let's call for a screenshot. Okay, we're getting there. 75 kilometers. Stamp time to up apsis is rising again. It's very good inclination. Oh, I had inclination here. I didn't even notice that. Damn. Okay, whatever. Close that. Ok, 
Okay, we are in space. Nice. Still have fuel left on this main tank. Everything is looking good. Apollapse is 130. Going up. Okay, and now we reach orbit. I think we'll need about, oh, okay, 300 to circularize. So what I like to do is disengage that F5, turn off that engine, turn on the OMS engines, I can actually get rid of that, and we can stage, screenshot of course. So that guy is not gonna go into orbit, that's good. I don't know, I think that's what the real turtle does. We can turn this off. Now we can engage this again. Okay, we sh should still be... Yeah, okay, we still have 609 meters per second delta V. So we're gonna be fine. So we're gonna be able to circularize put the open the cargo bay take another screenshot yes okay auto warp please so that's pretty much successful till now Still have our 36 ton. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> okay. But we still have 600. Yeah, that, I don't know when did I turn that off. But you see, we only cheated for a few liters of liquid oxidizer, so it's not a big deal, right? Okay, I'm gonna fast forward this. Supposedly, orange tank is gonna fall back into the atmosphere. So we're good. That's it. Now, next part is going to be in orbit shuttle oh. shuttle test test STS one. In orbit okay good so now let's deliver our fuel or our cargo or whatever you want to call it so let's say the shuttle is ready to deliver 36 ton cargo into a 150 by 150 orbit that's more than enough Okay, we're good. I wonder what. Yeah, this looks cool. Let's turn the lights. Okay, whatever. So now let's do the landing part of things. But we still have a lot of monoprop. If only I had a way to dump it. Yeah, we we need to drain that monoprop otherwise our center of mass is gonna be behind our center of lift uh, you know what I'm gonna cheat I know there's probably countless ways you can do that by using your RCS but you know what I'm gonna cheat in the negative <laughs> that looks good to me the fuel we have, fuel we have is also there is 
countless ways you can do it by just increasing your your apoapsis somewhere and go spend a few doing that and come back like we're not gonna bother with that so I'm gonna spend uh, most of it till we have about 300 Yeah, that's that's fine with me. Usually, when I cheat with this, I add more fuel, but I don't delete fuel. I think the RCSs are working now. Well. Let me let me test that. Okay, translation. Backward, up, down, let's see, left, right, rotation, what parachute deployment are you talking about? Okay, rotation is good, nice, right, pitch down, it's good, roll, Roll left, looks good, yo, left, yo, right, everything looks good. I think now we can go back to Kerbin. Let's just save this as quick save one. So, I'm using the trajectories mode, by the way. And that's gonna cost about 406. Okay, let's make something like this 329, then we're gonna use our RCS to burn the remaining. Uh, fuel so that we are empty on RCS and liquid fuel and oxidizer because that's how where we get our best gliding anyway all right so make jab do your job where is it to execute next node Hopefully I do have enough RCS for that uh, remaining 29 meters per second. If not, I can always cheat. Because cheating is fun. Okay, we don't need that ascent guidance anymore anyway. We don't need that as well. Okay, we're burning. Can't even time accelerate this. Okay, now we're gonna use our RCS. Hopefully, it's gonna be all of it. Otherwise, I can just transfer it to that RCS tank on the cockpit just to keep the center of mass in front of the center of lift stay safe yes yeah, probably gonna be sh almost <laughs> almost enough yeah that's actually not bad yeah i don't need to cheat i think but let's quick save this so that we can try again if we mess up our first attempt now we don't have any RCS, that's not a wise idea, but we can use our reaction control or whatever, it's wheel, and go into surface mode, pitch 40. Just 
just like the real space shuttle and get ready for re-entry it is not pitching somehow Come on, I want you to pitch. Yeah, now go. Let's see where is our landing is gonna be. So it'll be about six kilometers when we reach that point. Six kilometer high. I will manage it. Don't worry. Okay, time accelerate. Nothing else fun to do here okay if, if we manage to land it right on the runway then I think this is gonna be a successful test flight let's see still staying about the same okay now we have re-entry I need to take a screenshot of this of course Okay, everything's still looking good. Yeah, we might actually make it. Damn. Okay, let's turn this guy off. And you don't need to do this if you know how to fly, but I like to use space plane guidance. And show on the nav ball. Not island runway, but KSC runway. Probably a little bit too high, so I don't know if I need to do a 360. Yeah, probably. We're 8,000 kilometer. So that's the ILS nav display. Okay, now we're getting to 6,000 kilometer. Come on, rotate this. doesn't look good so hard to rotate here maybe I actually didn't need to do a 360 but we'll see uh, my speed is going down kind of a lot In case you didn't know, the space shuttle could do some maneuvers like this, or maybe always did it just to burn off some altitude. So we're doing the same, kind of. Okay, let's pitch down here before we stall. And I'm using my keyboard to flight this guy. Maybe that's why it's not as easy as it should have been. At least even if we don't line on the runway, we're going to be close, that's for sure. So looking at that, it doesn't look so bad. Okay, we almost captured the glides, uh, the localizer. Does it have glide slope? I think so. I'm above the glide slope right now damn this guy glides so well otherwise I wouldn't even be able to reach here right now okay, let's try and align a better way here Oh 
What is that? No. Yeah, I think we're gonna make it. Yes. Okay, gear down before we forget them. Let's turn the lights. Okay, screenshot. Right on the mark. Okay, these guys. Oh shit. <laughs> I bitch too much. Ah, oh, damn. It was almost perfect till the end. Uh, I don't like that. I'm gonna do it again. Or was it a quick save? Perhaps. Yeah, it has to be perfect all the way. Uh, what is this? Oh no. Do I really need to do it all again? Okay, looks like I can only use this one. Okay, since we learned from our lesson last time, we are... Oh ho. Can you just move this? You know what? Make job. Okay. Because last time we were aiming about here, so maybe if we aim about uh, those mountains, it's gonna be better. Oh, did I burn already? Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I see this, I thought I didn't burn yet. Apparently I have. Okay, shit. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. Just 40. Yeah. That's it. Maybe if I had air brakes, I wouldn't need to do that 360 turnaround. Space plane guidance, KC runway. Hmm, we might have to do it again or just land on the opposite side. We could also land over there perhaps. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna find a solution to this. Yeah, I'm just gonna go downwind, turn left base, and land on the opposite side. Let me see here. What? Island 27, KC 27, okay. Okay, it's still too early for the left base turn here. Gonna wait a bit more. Where's my guidance? Well, it doesn't matter.
Okay, I'm gonna just quick save here, so we don't have to repeat this again. I'm gonna go and do my left base. Come on, you can do it. Okay. Left base, still 1700 meters high. Let's put the gears down right now. Okay, returning on final. I don't need you. I don't need you anymore. We're soon gonna intercept the localizer. We're still coming too fast. I can bleed some air. Okay, it's not easy with this keyboard, but it's doable. Actually, if I didn't want to have to rip my tail, I could just put the main gear further away from the center of mass. Okay, let's go below 10 degree bank. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. And now we have our parachute deployed. Yeah, it's just me not flying well, but it was an easy landing in the first place. Alright. Okay, now we can break. Good. We haven't lost anything, right? Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay, now let's see. You guys can come out, Jebediah first. Oop, before he come out, I should put the brakes. Okay, and we'll take a picture soon after all you guys are out. And finally, is it Bill? Bill, you're the man. Okay. So, yes. That's it guys, you did a very good job, and I'm proud of you. Nice. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, I hope you liked it, I hope it's been useful and entertaining with my poor commentary, but we'll see you next time with more tutorials on KSP. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.